vegan recipes with Pat and Emily. Today on It's Vegan, we are going to show you how to make Oreo mug cakes. This is going to be veganized. We saw the original recipe on TikTok, but I would like to show you Isaac's driving over to give me a hand. Isaac's making good use of the treadmill and he's driving over to the house to make Oreo mud cakes. He's almost here. Veganizing a mug cake. We're going to make a chocolate Oreo mug cake, a nutter butter mug cake, a golden Oreo mug cake, and a ginger snap mug cake. For the chocolate mug cake, you're going to start off putting four Oreos into a mug and then adding a fourth cup of soy milk and wait till that gets all like mushy and stuff. And then how about if you get your other ones started so they all start getting mushy. Okay. And by the way, all of these cookies are naturally vegan. We are putting the cookies into the mug and then we pour the milk over the cookies. And how many nutter butters? Um, three. Oh, three. So now we gotta wait till they get mushy and crunch them up with a the cookie. They're like soupy. That's good, you're showing it. Stir them until they get mushy. You know, it is actually four nutter butters. So when you get down there. Oh. Put the last nutter butter in there. Oh, yeah. The cookies are all getting soft. Yep. Now we're going to use a tablespoon of flour. And then you need a teaspoon of flour in the golden Oreo and a teaspoon in the nutter butter. And then in the ginger snap mug cake, you're going to add the spices. Ginger, cloves, and cinnamon. And then for the chocolate Oreo, a teaspoon of cocoa. Instead of a teaspoon of extra flour, you add a teaspoon of cocoa. And then you add a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And you add that to all of them. Also add a tablespoon of sugar to all of them. After that, you mix it all up until it looks like a cake batter. Now you're gonna sink your Oreo. It's gonna give it like a good texture after you bake it. You're gonna sink one chocolate Oreo in your chocolate mug, one golden Oreo in the golden cake, and two ginger snaps in the ginger snap mug cake. For the Nutter Butter mug cake, we are only sinking a half of a Nutter Butter into the batter because the Nutter Butters are a little bit larger. So what's next? After that, you microwave them from 60 to 90 seconds. Our microwave's 700 watts, and we have to microwave it for 90 seconds. This is Tasteless number two, and I have already eaten half of them. He likes the whipped cream on this. This is almond whip. Oh yeah. Oh look at that. Yum. I'm gonna taste the golden Oreo. And show us this a little closer. It's delicious. Oh yeah. And the Oreos right there, it really gives it some good texture. If you just want a small serving of cake, this is the way to go. Mm -hmm. You gonna try that peanut butter? Oh yeah. This one is the nutter butter. Man, that looks good. That's so peanut buttery, like that's a good cake. We would like chocolate syrup on it too. Mm -hmm. But what we do is we make one because you can only microwave one at a time. So we usually eat that one, stick another one in the microwave. Let's try the ginger snap. That's what that looks like. And the Visco ginger snaps are naturally vegan. I love that one. That's my favorite now. Oh, now that one's your favorite? It was this one. <laughs> I thought it was the peanut butter. I like this one. Mm. And uh, this one's the best, and then this is a close second. We're going to come back on camera in a minute and show you how you can make this as a gift kit. To make a kit out of this, you will see if you do the drop down below the video, you can print out these little cards that have the recipe and the instructions. So you can print it out and it's for each of the versions that we made. So you'll put that in, you will pack up your Oreos or whatever cookie that you're making and then put all of your dry ingredients in a little plastic container. It makes a nice festive gift. And this is shrink wrap, and I get it at the dollar store. And I cut each bag in half for each cup that I'm making. And then you 
use a blow dryer and it shrinks. And then you can gather the top together and trim it. Voila, you have a darling little Christmas gift.